Welcome everybody to part two uh, of our Let's Play of uh, Napoleon and Russia. The scenario is the Battle of Shevardino. In part one, we initially uh, we redeployed some units and we were under attack by the French uh, light cavalry. In some suicidal assaults on our positions, uh, they've lost heavily. Uh, we're on turn six, Russian movement phase. Just as a recap of what the Points are it's 178 in our favor as the Russians. We're playing Russians, obviously here, and we are ready to continue on. Now, I am going to try and slow down the speed of the AI maneuvering or the movement. I think it's the F5 key, so we're going to try that next um, French movement phase. But for now, we'll just zoom in here and we'll take a look at what's going on. Uh, just to recap where we are, so we have uh, some light, French light cavalry here, Jacques Renault. Uh, he has, yes, that's right. Our, our dragoons here are more than a match for him, so I have nothing really to worry about there. I see in the center we have some light cavalry again heading on supported towards the redoubt and the leash. Uh, some Caressi on the Saint Germain. On this side, we have the reckless attack by um, who's this? Uh, General de Brigade Romagin. Or Romanjin, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry again, uh, but yeah, these guys aren't going to go far. But we do have a bigger threat to us is these uh, horse artillery batteries. Now the range isn't great; it, it is 12, so it's enough. But if uh, the AI is competent enough to deploy those, uh, we won't be able to stay here with these dragoons. These dragoons will have to pull back behind the hill because I can't risk having them. Shot to pieces. Uh, what I might do here uh, in this movement turn is I'm going to rally or turn these guys around to face back this way. And I might actually uh, start thinking of pulling back. I think we're good for one more turn here with these squadrons. Uh, but then I will retreat them back to their parent unit back here and reform them. I will, though, be cheeky, capture this guy. Colonel Anonymous and retreat back to where I was. Now I don't want to expose these infantry battalions to you know undue harm because I will need their strength. So I'm just gonna reform here. Uh oh why is he turned around? Whoops, I must have done that before and didn't realize it. Um let's go and spread out these skirmishers a bit. So my initial plan was to have these skirmishers kind of um protect this uh, creek here. So that's what I will do. I'll spread them out a bit. Now, if, if I can remember correctly, I believe the French cavalry will come down there and run, the, run those guys over, but we'll leave it at that for now. Let's move these guys into the forest, continue on here. Into there. I just have to have them in the forest, otherwise I'm just needlessly exposing them to um, surprise French suicide attacks. And I think that's it for our movement. Let's just zoom out a little bit here and take a look at the overall picture. Mm, yeah, they're okay for a minute. This is kind of worrying. I don't know what he's all about, where he's heading, but we got the beginning of the French skirmishers heading in. And these guys, um, they could, I guess, charge the redoubt. I'll have to see what happens here, but let's continue on in and see if I can finish this game up in the next little while. So French defensive fire, anything? No. So I'm going to speed that up. Oh, that went too fast. My defensive fire or offensive fire phase for me. So I am going to just zoom in. Oh, they did deploy. Yeah. Okay. So there's 11 guns. And Six, so we're at sixteen. I can't, or sorry, seventeen. I can't have these guys hang out here. These guys here, I mean, these cavalry dragoon squadrons, they'll get pummeled. And I do not want to hand over victory points so they don't have to, especially in the tight game. Let's see what we can see. Okay, who can you see? Let's take another shot at Saint Germain. Nothing. You? Anyone? Anyone? 
Can you see anybody? Nope. You? Nope. Okay, well, that was anticlimactic. Cavalry charges. Nothing for me. I don't want to do anything here. Um, I'm just going to leave it how it is. Melee. No melee for me. I mean, I could melee them. Should I? If I do, I'll be just gaining fatigue. And I don't know if I want to. Let's see what the odds are. 3 to 1. Pretty good. But no, I'm not going to bother. Movement phase. Let's see if I can slow this down this time. Yeah, that's a little better. There we go. We can kind of see what happened there a little bit more. So what has happened? Let's zoom in again. I like this view. Oh, well, here we go. Hmm. Some French cavalry. These guys had a change of heart, and these guys are coming in. They're going to cross the river and charge these guys here, no doubt. So maybe I will move these guys back now in the next couple of turns. Well, there's a big, big block. The 3rd Brigade of the 5th Division, General de Brigade Goyardet, 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 anyway, I'm sorry for the patchy voice or the sound, my, my son's actually sleeping two rooms over and it's late at night here when I'm recording this, so I don't want to be too loud, um, hope you can understand, um, Maybe if it's too, if the volume is too low or you can't really hear me, maybe I'll just re record this whole thing. Um, what is this? Why, why did he just bypass me? He just, he just decided, nah, nah, we're splitting up. You're going that way, we're going this way. Why did he do that? Why, why is he just ignoring me? <laughs> okay, well, I gotta lay down some fire here because this is the. This actually might be pretty bad. They might overrun the objective. Let's just turn the objective markers on. Let's see, can we do enough damage to... Let's target the Hussars, the 8th Hussars. Oh, that was not a good result. Um, fatigue is good, except for when you needed casualties, because casualties also cause a fatigue. Can I shoot him? Nope. I can't do hardly anything. Shoot him? Yes, I can. 25. So I can kill 25 guys a mile away, but not right in front of me. Okay, look at the draw, I guess. Okay, let's pass that. Offensive fire phase. Yeah, here comes the artillery. That's doing some major damage. Yeah, yeah, that sucked. <laughs> that sucked hard. So I lost my squadrons here after they got pummeled by these guns. So that just means I'm going to take my cavalry out of this predicament here. And we're just going to try and leave. Hmm. Okay, lads, let's get you guys back to your spots. That's where you were originally. And let's do this. I have now I've lost my artillery in this. Now this is not good for me. This is not good at all. Because I don't know how I'm supposed to retake this um, redoubt. Because infantry cannot charge cavalry in this game. So I'm going to have to use my heavy cavalry and try and counterattack. Which I will do. I will do that for sure. I'm just going to move up. Uh, who do I want to move up? Any large regiments? No, all 450. I will move up one brigade. I think the second brigade I'll move in. 900 men under Kritov. I'm going to move you up right there. We'll charge the last two in our charge phase and then we'll hopefully overrun that. For here, these guys, these, I don't know what's going on here, these French cavalry, but I'm not going to just allow this guy to overrun these guns, so I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to have both these guys charge. What did that disastrous turn do for our victory points? 178. Oh my god. 
Wow, we lost. They were negative 178, and now we're 918. They got over 1,000 points? Hmm, must be the objective. What's the objective worth? Oh, there you go, 1,000 points. <laughs> Down here in the bottom left, right here, 1,000 points. Well, we'll take that back. Do I have any other movement? Does any of my reinforcements unlock? Nope, nope, nope. I need these artillery now pretty badly. Um, let's just, let's not get excited here. Let's just finish with the plan here and spread out these skirmishers a little bit. Get them into the forest over here on this side. And we will spread them out. And then you two can go up here with him. You can stay there. You three will go up here. You three will go up here. Well, you can't make it, but and you two will come down here. So we're just going to fill out this forest here. But let's go. Let's move past this French defensive fire phase. Are my guys still in range? No, they're behind that hill right here. Uh, these French cannons cannot do anything. I don't think it would be a miracle. I don't think that's possible. And we'll just go up to French defensive fire. No, nothing. Our French uh, offensive fire. Now, these guys are hid, hid behind the hill here. So can these guys see anyone? Let's zoom out. Yes, he can see him, but he can't shoot him. But he could probably take a shot. 25. Okay, let's move on past the... Can I shoot into there? I can. So let's uh, shoot you. You probably won't do anything because you're in the redoubt. No, nothing. No, you. Can't do anything either. No. Okay, move past that. Cavalry charge. Yes, this is my turn for cavalry charges. I've been inactive enough. I'm going to have the uh, Kiev Dragoons charge up here, the New Russia Dragoons charge him, and the 2nd Brigade of the 2nd Corassier Division are going to try and retake our objective, our redoubt. And then what I'm going to put in there, I have no idea since I do not have any artillery. I have these guys, but, but I don't know if they're going to get in there. Anyway, move on. Melee, mm, three to two. Well, we have no choice. We have to try. Yes. One twenty-five to defend or twenty-five to attack, or so not very costly for us. Very costly for them. That means they were pushed out. I guess that's the leader. I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we have over here? You on you. New Russia versus. Whoever that is, the ninth Chevalier. Let's. Yep. Oh yeah, I think we annihilated him. I'm not sure why we can't see that question mark. I'm not sure what this is all about. But two successful ones so far. Make it a third. Three for three. Four to one. Yeah, we should easily do this. Four to one. Boom. One fifty to zero. So we didn't lose anybody. We lost 50, and these guys lost 25. So we lost 75 guys there. That should bring our victory back to the, yeah. Uh, okay, so we've pulled it back to where it was, just a little bit. And they have lost 1,650 cavalry and three leaders. Who was the leader? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, yes, that's right. That's the Colonel Anonymous. Did I get any points? Sorry, I did that too fast. Any points for him? Oh, oh, oh sorry, wrong spot. I'm wasting time. Four points. Bleh. Okay, let's zoom out here for what happens next. Let's do it in this view and see if we can keep track of the French movements. Wow. So many French. So many French. What's this? Oh, here we go again. Zoom back in. Are they going to try and attack across? Livered out again. Yes, they are. The fourth light brigade. Okay, well, they've left some units in the path. Shoot him. Oh, he's routed. Well, let's see. Can we shoot him anyway? Nothing. Wow. 
Let's have the uh, Ternopole Regiment, Battalion's Target, uh, who's the biggest unit? Is the Chevalier the 4th, no, sorry, the 16th Chevalier. Let's shoot them off a bit. 825 men did nothing. Okay, well, we can't do hardly anything else, so pass that. Cavalry charge. Oh, wow. Okay, did not expect that. I don't know why. The Poles. Polish are coming in and the Prussian Hussars. Oh, nope, failed. Failed. So both their charges failed. Back to my movement phase. It's 3 45 p.m. September 5th, turn 8. Oh, they got. They got ruckus a bit there. So this regiment here, this new Russian Dragoon regiment, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot with him. Um, he's at high fatigue. Fatigue 5. i got to get him out of there. i got to pull him back. Uh, he's a lot better, Emmanuel. We can capture Jokonol. Jokonol. Let's capture him and head home. <laughs> back to our lines. Um, I could attack them. Do I want to? No. Well, let's head back. There's no point in overextending. Um, you guys are doing excellent. I would like to move you out, which I will. You've done your job. And I will move the Nevorovsky, or I move Odessa. 700 on 1150. I think 1150 is what I want, right? 1150, yes. You're going in. So you're in there. I think you're going to be able to hold that. Now, should I move these guys up to the, up to here? If I, if I move these two, uh, four battalions up onto this ridge, I fear I'll just be cannon fodder, like what happened over here. So, I won't, I won't. I'll leave them here like that. You guys are fatigued four. I'm going to move you back, kind of use you for a bit, let you recover. I'm going to have... Chernikov Dragoons move back in here. Can I, can I join you? Yes, I can. So bring you back up to almost full strength. Unfortunately, the Kharkov Dragoons are below half. So we have how many Dragoons? We have 925 Dragoons there. Now I have kind of, if I zoom out here a bit, I've kind of surrendered this whole flank. And I'm trusting that the AI just won't be cheeky and come across here like this. Uh, when do these guys get released? Uh, where do I find that? Uh, status. Nope. Reinforcement. Scheduled. No, not uh, reinforcement. Releases. At 4 o'clock. So in a few turns. Okay, so in a few turns I get those guys. And I think... I had said last video that I wasn't going to use them, but I think that's pretty foolish of me. I I think I might need them. That's a lot of French infantry. Come on. Let's just take a look at what the French are up to. Who's this way over here? More horse artillery. Yep, there's, oh, there's the carbineers right there. Piling through the one bridge. Some of them are heading this way, I guess. Hmm... If they're heading this way, their only crossing point is is here. Down here on the bottom left, it says Ford, so they can cross there. Also, and they can cross there. So they're probably going to go cross here. I'll have to send someone over there. Um, I'll send these guys over there. Yeah, I'll send them over there. Oh, gosh, that's a tough choice because if I get charged anywhere around here, I'll have to retreat across this river, but it's a chance I'll have to take. I'll do that. And what is... Um, Shepardino worth 200 and 200 to 400. So the main objective is the down itself. So we'll focus on that. Now, I 
I want to teach this fourth life brigade a lesson. I am going to charge these guys as soon as I have the opportunity to, and I will move the Tarnopol Regiment or Battalions up here. Just, I think they'll be safe enough from artillery fire for now. So what have I done? I need still to move the skirmishers up to the edge of the forest. That's done. These guys are pulling back. These guys are taking cover. French cavalry coming in on this side. French infantry coming in on the front. You guys are pulling back. You guys are fresh still. So, okay, let's move on. Our offensive fire. I will take a couple of hot shots at these regiments. One at you. One at you. Nothing. Russians. Notoriously bad musketry. Nothing. One Nevrovsky. Yeah. One would kill the anonymous. Colonel. Okay, so that was as successful as I could have hoped. Last you a little bit. Oh, target eliminated. That's good. This little triangle means that you can still melee into this into this hex, but I have no one around. And can you hit anybody? Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom zoom. Nobody. Okay. Well, short and sweet. Zoom back in. Cavalry charge phase. Now I will charge this guy with this guy here. With the Lithuania Ulans. So let's do it. Charge in. Melee. Two to one. Should I do it? Yes. Excellent. Oh, I lost 50. Mm. Here's that thing again. I should be able to see them plainly, but I, it says I can't. <laughs> I don't know what's there. I just bought it, but I have no idea what it was. Um, okay, French movement. Let's zoom out for this and see what happens. I'm going to do the French movement, I think, in this um, mode, because I, I think it will be easier to follow. Uh, next phase, French movement. Lots of artillery setting up here. Lots of artillery setting up. Zoom in again. Yeah. Hmm. Well, now you guys are in front. Do I want to shoot the Corassier or the Light Cavalry? I think my biggest enemy right now is this guy. Nothing. Nothing? My goodness. Can't shoot him. I can shoot him. Nothing. Can't shoot anybody. If only I if only I had to left my artillery unprotected in there. I should have moved in the infantry battalion. That was silly of me to do that. But it's four o'clock. I think this turn I will get some reinforcements. And I hope some of them are artillery. I think there is, but that's all my defensive fire. Move on past this. More cavalry charges. And that one failed, whatever that was. See, I don't know why he did that. He wasn't near strong enough to do that. But anyway, uh, let's continue to bring you back to your own lines. We'll need you soon enough. And you want to turn you around. You've reformed, which is good, but you need to rest. I can't, I can't use you. Now, you... I'm going to pull you back as well. I can't tire you out so easily, so so fast. The infantry are just going to have to hold the redoubt for a moment while the cavalry reforms you a bit more. That's all the movement I have here. These turns will get quicker and quicker. I'm going to bring you back. No, that's right. I got to bring you over. Let's see. That's right. Before I do that, do they continue on down there, or do they change their minds? Fog of war is on, so either how many how many hexes can he see? So he can see them. So there is nobody here. The fog of war would only see, 
I'm only not able to see this guy here. So I don't think there's anyone coming that way. Make the decision now whether I want to pull those dragoons back. I think I will. I think I'll need them. I'm 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 hawing away here, and I not really I haven't played this in the scenario in a few years, so I don't remember how the AI acts. I just know that they go for suicidal charges on the objective hexes, and they run down skirmishers left, right, and center. So let's bring them back again. Oh my goodness, what a directionless uh, general I am right now. But generally, my line is still solid. Now it's time to move down south here and see who do I get. All you guys? Nope, 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 nope. Releases. Four o'clock. And it didn't get released. Oh, maybe it's on the French turn. It's on the French turn. Maybe. I don't know what happened there. Okay, well, no more movement for me. Defensive fire phase. None of the artillery unlimbered, oddly. Defensive fire phase. Mm, oh boy. I should have moved uh, General Major Sheevers out of that artillery. You know, it's kind of like the charge of the light brigades. This guy here, although he's disrupted, so we can't charge this turn. Neither can these guys. I don't know who's here. I don't think there's anybody. Um, let's fire on the Karasi regiment. There, that, that regiment is gone, never to be seen again. Fire on you. You're gone, never to be seen again. So we've eliminated three French cavalry regiments. And these regiments, the main battle hasn't even started. And they'll be needed. Uh, let's just double shoot you. Fatigue, that's fine. We'll do it again. Nothing. So you can see the advantage of having artillery. The Russian artillery is really the workhorse of the Russian army. The musketry is pretty poor. Quality four, that's probably why. Uh, what are the victories? Oh my goodness. 2,375. Oh my goodness, minus 440 score. Almost 2,400 cavalry. Five leaders, so we've one more leader, and we've lost about a thousand men ourselves. But 18 guns, that's sad. I really mismanage my guns. Let's see, what was the leader we did? Uh, Colonel Anonymous, yes, that's right. Okay, move on past that. Um, Russian cavalry charge for you to come up. Dare I charge Saint Germain? No, I won't. I won't charge him because if I charge him, then I'm, I'm stuck. These two cavalry regiments will will definitely charge me if I move this the hussars up here. They will more than likely come down. So I won't. No cavalry charging for me. Uh, no melee for me. Movement. Well, yeah, yeah, I should have zoomed out for that. Sorry. Okay, what happened there? Oh my goodness, I was wrong. There's. Three, five, six, almost seven, eight hundred cavalry heading this way. I hate to do this again. I'm going to turn these guys and go back, but now I'm going to be too late. I'm actually going to be too late to stop them from crossing the river. And now I can't turn my flank either because. No. I messed that up. I can't go over there now. I can't risk them now over here. Mm, these are elite regiments. The first Crassier and the first Carabineers. The fourth Crassier division. Okay, well, do what I can with what I have. These guys are not releasing down here, so. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? Uh, French cavalry. My defensive fire might as well shoot him. Nothing. Well, there's a 25, 25 unit uh, cavalry lost there. Can he actually shoot anybody? Nope. Can he? Nope. 
that's that, I, I guess. No, nope, didn't take any losses there. An another another cavalry charge. Oh no. The eighth crest they overran these guys? They pushed these guys back? Well he's exposed himself. I'm gonna get cheeky again and do the Do this thing here where I move in my cavalry to block his zones of control. There's avenues of escape. So we're gonna move these guys up here. Corning. We're gonna have Duca. Who's Duca? Duca is the third brigade. I believe Duca was the guy who actually um, commanded the division in this battle. But anyway, I digress. Should I use the dragoons to charge these guys from behind? I think I will. Uh, Corning, you just move up here with those guys. Block his view. I think I also will use my SRs to charge these guys. You're okay in there. And you have to reform, turn you around. Turn you around. Can't, there's nothing I can do with those guys. I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, Sorry if I'm not talking as much, I'm just now wasn't actually expecting this over here to happen. They're gonna come across here and my flank will be turned eventually. I won't have a whole lot. Perhaps this brigade of Crassier to hold them off. Hmm. Oh, I move the fourth cavalry commander. I'm gonna move him out of this area. I'm going to put him right there. I know I'm leaving him kind of exposed, but I think these cannon will be overrun eventually. And maybe I should undo the extended line. How do I undo the extended line? There. Cannot change the extended line unless in defensive fire mode. Okay. Okay. More shooting. Went shooting. I we're going too fast to see if we're doing any damage, but it doesn't look like we've lost anybody, so no. Push an offensive fire phase. Oh, they they unlimbered. Who can they see? Oh, I just threw it out. Mm, that's pretty smart placement. That's probably where I would have gone too. Fine, he's unlimbered there. What's, what can he see? I'm not sure if he's in arc. Might be. He can't really see anything either, unless he turns. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, um, I gotta do my defensive fire, so I will. I'll shoot you. You're not gonna kill anyone anyway. Who's the biggest one? Two fifty. Oh yes, low ammunition. Can't use you. Take that, you Prussians. By that I mean nothing. Take nothing, you Prussians. They can't shoot anybody. These guys, can they see anybody again? I don't know why I never can see anybody. I'm going to turn him towards the redoubt, I think. The French just aren't going his way. What's this? Oh, yes. <laughs> For a second there, it looked like a bunch of leaders just hanging out in the woods. If we hang out here, no one can kill us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do I have any more firing? No, no. No. Okay. Charge you guys in there. Charge the Hussars right there. One to one. Mm -hmm. Dang. Dang, that really, really sucked. I thought fresh Hussar regiment would be able to push three disrupted French regiments out, but no, I was wrong, and it cost me. But maybe this one will be more successful. Two to one. What are they? They're this eighth Crassier, three hundred fifty men, and a brigadier general, brigade general, general the brigade. 
Mm, do it. Uh, nervous. Okay, good. So eliminated the eighth cuirassier and general de brigade right there. So you're gone. That's his, that was a bit of a mixed bag, I guess. Victory points. Almost 3,000 French cavalry lost. And I lost quite a bit as well. Okay, keep going. French movement phase. Still a bit too fast. Still don't know what's happening. Mm, they haven't crossed the ford yet. Skirmishers have moved up. That's not good. They're going to charge you, so I have to form them to square. And where's he going to go? Can't see him, can't see him, can't see him. So he's probably safe enough to go to square as well. Because you just never know. Ooh. This six Grassy Regiment is heading off in an odd direction. Don't think he's going to be too successful at whatever he tries there. More artillery coming out. Should I use my Crassiers to take out these cannons? Would they reach? 12 movement points of so 10, 8, 6, 4. And then I could charge. Hmm. We'll see. I only have this defensive fire, and I will try it. You on you, nothing. You on you again. Oh my goodness, nothing. Okay, well, I don't get to do anything. Defensive fire, here comes the artillery. Yes, yes, yes. Thankfully, I made the right decision for once. I put those guys in square before it was too late. 50, 25. 25, so 100 men lost, and I lost, I'm not 100% sure, but I lost some, I'm sure. Anyway, the second Grenadier Division is now, or second combined Grenadier Division, or second Grenadier Division is now on lock, I think. Yes, the second Grenadier Division. How many men is that? Status, strength. I had 20,000 men at the beginning of this battle, so I'm only 19 now. Let's scroll down. Where are you? Why am I blind here? I can't see them on the Crassier Division, Cossacks, Crassier, Converge, Grenadier Division, 4th Cavalry Corps, 27 infantry, boy right here. 7,000 men. 68, almost 6,900 men, okay, so. And I do get some artillery, so where, where's that artillery right here? Yes, I need you. Come with me, sir. Move. As fast as you can up there, I need every cannon so I can <laughs> mismanage you and have you destroyed. Yeah, let's send third brigade, second brigade, Prince Carl, your commander, he'll head out as well. Should I? What can they see? Anyone? Oh, they can't see someone. Maybe I'll just leave you there. And the first brigade. So what I will do, plan ahead here. I'm not very good at planning apparently, but I'll have the first brigade head to this to um, Shepardino itself and just kind of plant themselves around it. And the second and third brigade I'll move to the redoubt itself and counterattack. Okay, movement. Let's undo this log jam here. You're going to have to stay where you are for the moment. Hmm. Who can see you? Not really anybody. You? Not really anybody. 
I'm going to turn you guys around to face that way. And I'm going to move you guys back one. Dragoons, Crossier can come back here. You don't need to be in there, receivers. You can be here with the Dragoon. You can Corning, you can move back there and whatever the heck your name is, I can't pronounce it, I won't bother. But Patchen David Duff. I don't know. You can go there. I said I wouldn't even try and then I did. That's that's me. And now I got to figure out what's going to happen before it happens here because I'm not too fond of this guy hanging out here. I could go after him. It's quality seven and quality six. I'm a leader, he's a leader. Command E, Command E. They're both the same essentially. Um Mm -hmm. I'll move you back too because I don't like what's happening with you. You're there. Okay, that's that's it. Take whatever shot you can. You're not gonna do anything anyway. Who do I shoot at? You. Yeah, nice. I'm not going to bother shooting at the skirmishers, it's a waste. But let's see, can we do anything to you? No. No. <laughs> That's all I can do. My cavalry charge phase. I'm not, I'm not going to do anything here, so don't pass that. My melee phase, don't pass that. Bench movement. Now, what time is it here? It's getting late at night here at home, so. How long have I been going for? 42 minutes? Okay, I'm going to go for another minute and play the French movement and see what happens, and I'm going to call it part two. That is still way too fast. Wow. I am. Hmm, interesting. Defensive fire phase for me. Who's this? First division. Who is that? The first division is. Um, Morand? Morand, maybe? I know that the uh, first infantry corps. The French had five divisions, so the first, second, third, fourth, fifth. The fourth is Girard, the third is Dessy, the fifth is Compans, the second is Friant, so the first is Moran. Okay, so Moran is coming down that way. These guys have finally crossed the river, and I botched that completely. I could have, I could have just sat here and stopped them, but I didn't. And that'll be, that'll be the battle. I think that. That's going to cause some significant problems for me. And they're setting up their artillery and lots of it. Lots of it. Oh, oh there's Compans himself, actually. If I had my cannon in that redoubt, I could take a pot shot, but I don't. So now, see, he, he is going to overrun this for sure. For sure, he's going to overrun this artillery piece. Can I do counter charging? No. Uh, Please disrupt him. 25. 50. 75. Not, not disrupted. He will definitely overrun one of these two um, horse batteries. Any more defensive fire? Take another pot shot at you. Take a pot shot at you. Can you charge anyone? Mm, the Polish Hussars can. The 10th of Polish Hussars can. You could charge too, but why would you? Knowing me, you will. Look at that block. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 50. 1650 Frenchmen coming in. What else do we got? Well, I can't fire at it anyone else so that's that turn here comes the french artillery fire one two three four five five batteries now this is so this is the one that i'm waiting on here what will happen let's see 45 minutes i gotta give this uh, just wait yep ouch 
done. Nothing, nothing. Okay. So they couldn't overrun that guy because they were disrupting from crossing the river, but they're across now. That's that. Can't stop that from happening. What happened here? Charged. Nothing. Charged, overran that battery like I said he would. Lost 25 men more in the process. Okay, I think I'm going to save it here. Let's just take a look at what's going on. It's my moving phase. It's 4.45. He, this Polish Hussar regiment left his group, his brigade, and charged Russian Karasier head on. This guy, I don't know. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. And thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you look forward to episode three.